Hello and welcome to the attic floor of New Junction. Now today I'm going to show you how to uh, convert a DC loco into a DCC fitted loco um, with I suppose a few simple steps. Um, what we have here is a Backman Cross Country 221 um, and the motor is actually in one of the uh, passenger cars which is what we have here. Um, and all we subsequently need um, is the Hornby 4 pin chip. Um, I've got a screwdriver, a soldering iron with some solder, some scissors and some electrical tape. And that's it. Now the first step is to get the cover off. So join me in a second when I've done that. Now that's off, the first thing I want to do is I want to take the uh, chip and I'm actually going to cut off the uh, pinned part of that chip, leaving as much excess with the wire as possible. And with the power of television, you can see that's been cut. And that's what we're left with, the chip itself um, and all its wires. Now what we're going to do with that is I'm actually going to use the electrical tape to hide some of the wires. The only ones I want available are the orange and black, the grey and the red, and that will be uh, explained in a moment. So first things first, I want to get rid of all the uh, coloured wires I don't need. As you can see I've now done that, this is the chip. Um, all the other wires are tucked into uh, the electrical tape, um, leaving just the ones we actually need for movement. Um, don't cut the other colours off, because if you ever decide you want to wire up any lighting or other functions similar, you will need the other colours. Um, but uh, as this is a central coach on the 221, it's nowhere near the lighting, so um, we're not going to use them today. And it's quick and easy. <laughs> now, the wiring itself is very simple. Um, the ones we've saved, you've got the uh, orange, which is for the right-hand side of the motor. Um, you've got the grey, which was the left-hand side of the motor. Um, black for the left rail, red for the right rail. So, for example, on the chip, the red wire would join up with the right-hand side electrical wire coming off the wheel set. All we then do, as you can see, both bogies have a uh, uh, wire coming off them, um, which is colour-coded, luckily. All we need to do is dig them out, cut them, solder them together, and then solder them to the chip. I'm now going to do that for the uh, left and right rail, which is the red and the black, on both sides, and I'll show you as I go. As you can see now, the uh, board that was there has now been pulled off um, and both the uh, right hand side wires, both red, um, are ready to be soldered to the chip. Both have had the uh, ends removed. All we'll do is we'll solder these together um, and then sellotape them with some electrical tape. And then what we'll do is we'll repeat that process for the left hand rail and then the right and left for the motors. Easy peasy. As you can see, here's the chip. That's now soldered to uh, the two red wires. Um, now we're going to go on to the uh, opposite side, which will be uh, black to black. 
nice and easy. Now you can see the black wire's done as well. What I've done is I've uh, put a bit of uh, electrical tape around the uh, solders once they've cooled, um, just so the join is extra solid. Because the last thing you want is for them to uh, come apart, um, and then you have to get it all out and do it again. Um, now the next step, now the chip has electricity, is you need to provide the motor with electricity. So what we have, the grey and the uh, orange wire, or the uh, it's very similar on this Batman model, it's another red, but um, in this instance it's grey for the left um, and orange for the right. So it matches the chip perfectly. So the orange wire, just there, will now solder to this, the right hand side of the motor, and the left to the uh, grey. Join me after that's finished. Now that's all done, you can see the uh, chips just dangling and all the connections are lovely and taped up. So we've got this on the main layout now. All we're going to do is uh, test it. Um, it's not in its final fixed position of course, because if there's anything wrong we need to uh, dive back in really easily. So hopefully it works. Let's have a go. the other way. Perfect. That's worked to treat that as. Um, what I'm going to do now is just sellotape with uh, the electrical tape these connections and the chip into position where the old board used to be and then uh, go ahead and put the uh, top back on and get it running around. Um, I was amazed at how easy this is. It's so simple, especially with some Batman models, because like you see here, the wires are already colour-coded, so it really works a treat. Um, and if you're uh, after certain models and for certain eras and time zones where they only do a DC model, it's an easy fix. So definitely give it a go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care.